Today, according to UNICEF, at least 2.6 billion people lack adequate sanitation, while 1.1 billion people live without clean drinking water, period. Water is the key component in all of our daily lives, no matter where we live. Not only for human use, but for energy, industry, agriculture, and livestock. Now, if you look at the Earth, you will notice that over 75% of our blue planet is water. The problem is, only 3% of that water is fresh water. vessels docked at the port of Barcelona is a tanker that's just come in from Marseille. Its cargo, 36,000 cubic meters of drinking water. Barcelona is waiting for one million cubic meters to be delivered. Spain's second largest city is in the throes of an unprecedented drought. Over the last 10 years, river levels have dropped by no less than 15 percent. That should have set off all the alarm bells. There are three main factors here. First, water pollution. And you have to remember, the preventative measures here aren't sufficient. Then there's climate change. And finally, the excessive demand we're seeing because of overdevelopment in the city. In the city area, neither residents nor tourism officials have received any guidelines for saving water. Some miles outside the city, this farmer shows us his system for using recycled water. It took 20 years of lobbying by the agricultural unions to get it installed. Back in the 80s, we had water cuts during droughts. The two rivers, the Yabregat and the Ter, were overused. You didn't have to be a genius to work out that we were going to have water shortages. According to a recent study, water is the most pressing concern for 40% of the city's inhabitants. The only solution left is to build more desalination plants. But if we carry on developing the city at the rate we have been doing since the 50s and the 60s, it won't be enough.
Oh, oh, oh.